Chaos Vantage has taken another step towards becoming more complete. The third update of Vantage 2 has been released. Now this software supports rendering V-Ray Blend material, and we can produce many different and unique materials. But the other features of this update are support for the multi matte render element and the view filter for light gizmos and UX improvement, which we will discuss in this video. Hi, welcome to MimViz. Now in the last update, the 3D Max logo has been added to the status bar. To clarify this issue, where does the live link come from? Also, in the Preferences section, new settings have been added that improve desktop responsiveness. This also improves the responsiveness of other running applications. The activation of this feature is displayed in the status bar. But this feature is added in the render settings too. And I suggest you use your computer if you want. While Vantage is in render mode, enable this option. But let's get to the most important feature of this update. Support for V-Ray Blend Material. In this scene, I used concrete material for the floor. As you can see, this is a simple material. But with the help of blend material, we can turn it into a special and unique material. I have already prepared a blend material. But let's check it out. I put the original concrete material as the base material. After that, I placed a copy of the original concrete material as coat 1. But using color correction, I made the color of this material a little darker and I increased the amount of reflection of this material. And finally, using the noise map, I created reflective spots on the original material. But to increase the details of the material, I repeated the same process. This time, I used a black and white texture to create dirt and unevenness in the floor material. You can use different textures in blend material to create a unique material. Let's continue. I'm going out of the live link mode and I'm going to standalone vantage mode. When we are in selection or transformation tools mode, a lot of lights are displayed. It may make it difficult for us to interact with the scene. You can use the view filter in the new update and turn off the light gizmos option. You can also use the G key to turn it on and off. Now, you can have a better interaction with the scene and remove the annoying gizmos. But the last special feature is the multi matte render element. You can use this icon to create a new multi matte object from the object section. I use it to create different colors on the floor, chair, and bed. I can use this element to select different objects in Photoshop and make changes in their color and light. At the end of the video, I will show you how to use render elements in Photoshop. To use this render element, select the multi matte option in the render setting. Now I will use the separate file option to save the elements and render them on separate files. As you can see, I can easily select objects in Photoshop and apply the changes I want to them. This element will be very useful in post-production, 
so I recommend you to use it. Chaos Vantage is rapidly becoming more complete, and it is trying to get ahead of its competitors. So I recommend you to use this software. Thank you for being with us. See you in the next video.